I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got two finna diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I wrap the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Leave a like on this video within the next five seconds for 2K to finally fix their servers. I would not risk it. Yo, what's it, YouTube? It's your boy, Fizz, back in the with yet another video today. I'm coming to you guys with yet another lit video today. I got y'all with the bad versus, but the upgraded version, the revamped version called Badge Battles, where I'm going to be putting badges up against each other that are very, very comparable and some of the most overpowered badges in the game and put them in the gauntlet and see which one is better today i got y'all with showtime versus heart crusher i was actually thinking about going showtime versus rim protector but i actually ended up just going with showtime versus heart crusher because in my opinion these are the two most comparable badges when it comes to the point of being how broken the badge is rim protector has a lot of different things that go into rim protector besides just the fact that it helps your takeover so that's really the reason why i didn't go over that because i feel like that would have been too easy so i wanted something to be a little bit more comparable and do showtime versus heart crusher if there's any other badges that you guys want me to do just like i was going over there in the takeover video put those in the comments down below I will be doing build wars very soon. So if you guys want that, smash breaking this to the like button. I got a lot of videos coming in this banger week, whether it's the best build at every position, the best builds, the rarest build at every position, the best animations. If you guys want all that stuff, all you gotta do is smash break and destroy the like button. Subscribe new. We on that road to 100 k We less than 4K. Man, we less than 4K away from hitting that. I got a lot of stuff coming at 100 k merch face reveal all type of crazy stuff if you wasn't in the stream yesterday i was attempting to do a hundred i was attempting to do a 24 hour my power went out I kept lagging frame rate power went out again it's cool though we will be doing more streams i don't know if i'm gonna be attempting that again but yeah but yeah for today's video like i said we're gonna be doing the badge battles showtime versus heart crushing without further ado no more talking let's hop straight into it All right, so how is the badge battle gonna work? So when it came to the takeover versus, I had categories on breaking it down, how we was gonna compare that. So for this one, we're not gonna have those same categories because when it comes to takeovers, you could do like what builds, what's the plus tens and stuff like that. When it comes to the badges, we just gonna tell you guys what each one does. And then at the end, we are gonna compare them together, put them and see which one is more overpowered, which one is more useful, and which one is just better. So yeah, that's gonna be the three categories at the end I'm gonna be going over all in together when it comes to the outcome or pretty much that. But for the main part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys clips. If you guys want me to do gameplay dedicated for each bad or gameplay dedicated for each build or gameplay dedicated for each takeover, that'll be a lot harder for badges and takeovers. But I 100% can get that for y'all on the bills so yeah i'm gonna be doing it like that and that's going to be pretty much how this video is going to work all right so first things first when it comes to the badges the first badge we're gonna go over is showtime so showtime what does showtime do gives an additional boost to a player takeover meter and their teammates when successfully completing an and one or flashy dunk what most people know showtime for is doing the flashy dunk and helping your teammates take over people don't really recognize that it helps yourself when it comes to takeover and it helps on and ones and if you do a flashy dunk and it be an and one it's actually double the trouble and i actually go over this a lot in a lot of my videos now one thing when it comes to showtime if you have it at hall of fame it's gonna be significantly better than gold but if you have it at gold it's significantly better than silver if you have it at bronze it's it just being able to have showtime is a huge huge help because it's so easy to get a showtime to hop off because all you have to do is have a 70 driver dunk and be able to get a park dunk package and you can do a park dunk every single time at the park and it'll activate showtime every single time you put the right dunk packages on or the dunk animations on it'll activate showtime every single time now there are some dunk packages that have animations within that dunk package that you wouldn't expect to unlock or activate showtime but yeah that does work too like front crutches quick drops off one like 
everyday really amazing dunk package but then you got like other ones like switcher rules windmills off one windmill reverses that gonna be doing it a lot more another thing when it comes to showtime actually the flashier of the dunk the more showtime bonus you will get for you and your teammates takeover so that's another thing that could be going into play now another thing when it comes to showtime that a lot of people don't know actually it, not all the live animations do it but there are some rare ones that actually activate showtime just like when it comes to the contact dunk packages there are some contact dunk animations in them packages especially in the elite contact dunk package that actually activate showtime but the only thing about it is just not consistent when it comes to activating on a consistent basis so yeah showtime is going to be a really good badge to help your teammates especially and it's a really broken badge and it's become way way more popular this year because it's just 2k just made it a lot better this year and because when it comes to wages people was noticing how overpowered it was they started to ban it just like other badges like ankle breaker and yeah showtime it just become a really just a automatic badge that any big man or field that can get showtime dunk packages to activate they put on all right next the other badge that we're going to be comparing showtime to is heart crusher now this badge is extremely extremely overpowered and broken it's so overpowered or it was so overpowered at one point that 2k had to do a dedicated patch to strictly patching the heart crusher badge i've genuinely never seen 2k do that in a 2k until this year now there might been other times i'm just not remembering but just when they strictly had to dedicate a patch to strictly patching a badge because it would make the entire other team cold off a block or a steal which it still could do that but it's just a lot harder to do so heart crusher actually successfully blocking or stealing the ball from an opponent an additional penalty is given to the opposing players takeover meter so it says on their player but it 100% uh, it affects the entire other team. 100, 100, 100%. I've seen it time and time again when they're playing the 5v5. It's gonna, you can make the whole other team cold. And what happens a lot time is, the person that you're blocking actually is the one person that doesn't end up being cold. You'll see all other four people go cold and that one person that you blocked or got a steal on, they are actually the only person that probably was not affected as much as his teammates. It's, I, I don't know what that is about, but yeah, I've seen it happen multiple, 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 multiple times. Now, when it comes to heart crusher, another thing, it can be a steal or a block. It doesn't just have to be a block, but the most times that I see it activate is on blocks. And this can be any type of block, a snatch block, a chase down block, or just a regular block. Now, when it comes to this, what happens is if you do a snatch block, it actually is going to be kind of similar to Showtime. It's going to do a bigger difference on the other team's takeover. Or a chase down is going to make a bigger difference. The biggest difference that it will make is a snatch block. Then it will be a chase down. And then you got like regular blocks, rim protector blocks. And you got like interceptor passes and then pickpockets and stuff like that. All that is like insane tier. So yeah, heart pressure, very, very old power. It's just giving you the ability to pretty much make the entire other team cold. So... Showtime has the ability to pretty much just get your entire team takeover. Heart Crusher has the ability to get the entire other team cold. And if you don't know what happens with your, your cold, every single attribute from shooting to finishing to speed to anything that you pretty much can have on your build is minus seven. Anything, everything. So yeah, being cold is not something you really want to do, especially in a game like this where you have to be at a certain tier shooting and if you go up or down in your three-point rating it can make your jump shot slower or faster so yeah it makes a big 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 difference having heart pressure all right so now that we've went over what each bag does let's compare and contrast and see which one is more overpowered which one is more useful and which one is just at the end of the day just strictly better and more usable in a lineup so yeah so when it comes to being more overpowered, when it comes to being more overpowered at this point in time in the game, if we're talking strictly before the patch, Heart Crusher hands down with the most broken badge in the game. Now, right now, I think Heart Crusher, Showtime are up there. I think right now the most broken badge in the game probably is Ankle Breaker, but right under it would probably be Showtime. Showtime is so broken that they literally ban it in wages for a reason because they don't really want any of this type of stuff to just people especially when like people are like e2 you're gonna get their your teammates takeover 
and two dunks if you have gold or hall of fame you can even almost get somebody takeover in one dunk if you have hall of fame so yeah um that is just an overpower badge you know what i'm saying now heart crusher it at one point it was literally taking only one block like if you had one snatch block you could literally instantly make the entire team cold now it probably takes two at the most or at the least but around two to three blocks or steals you're gonna make the entire team cold it's just that simple so yeah heart crusher is gonna take more and just i believe i'm not gonna lie i believe making your entire team have takeover whether it's a bunch of people with sharp takeover one person with play takeover with one person with glass or whatever whatever your team takeovers is or stuff like that you know what i'm saying i feel like that's just more overpowered than just making the other team cold anyway at this point in time in the game especially with how people are just more used to the game because in takeover people are just not gonna miss especially if they have sharp sharp is just gonna be game changing in a certain situation so when it comes to what's more overpowered i would give that to showtime then when it comes to what's more useful in every single day situations showtime and heart pressure um i feel like it's a lot easier to predict or make yourself be able to get a flashy dunk maybe not as easy to get an and one but it's a lot easier to uh, make yourself do a flashy dunk all you gotta do is be run do go for a dunk and do a flashy dunk if you don't know how to do a flashy dunk right stick down you're gonna do a flashy dunk every single time if you know how to do a dunk it's that simple so yeah um it's a lot easier to make yourself do a flashy dunk in any given game than just getting a block versus say for instance or getting two blocks or three blocks or two steals or three steals so yeah i would say when it comes to usability i would say that would again go to showtime and that's a bigger margin I would say overpowered since you could argue Showtime and Hard Crusher, but when it comes to the usability again on that, on overpower, I feel like getting flashies, even if you have it at bronze, you can get four flashies in the game and get your teammates takeover. If they're an E2, you know what I'm saying? That's still very overpowered. Now, even if they're not an E2, it's gonna be pretty fast. It's gonna be a lot faster. You know what I'm saying? They don't even really have to do anything in the entire game, and you can keep them off cold or get, get keep just adding to the takeover meter. They don't even have to have takeover for that to be overpowered because if you know how takeovers work, it's gonna be pretty much adding on to pretty much the, all the attributes as you keep just going up in takeover. So yeah, that's just in that part alone, it's very overpowered too. Then when it comes to what's just better overall, what's just better overall? Um. When it comes to what's just better overall, it's just a lot easier. Just like I was coming to with the usability, what's more overpowered. Just combining those two together is kind of obvious. Showtime is just more usable. But if the if, if this was Heart Crusher at the beginning of the year before the patch, pre-patch, you could really have a real, real closer argument because Heart Crusher at that point would be more overpowered because it was not only a lot easier to make people go cold, but when it came to people trying to get off cold and stuff like that, it's, at that point, it was just way, way harder too because all it took was one more block and you would be back cold. So yeah, you could argue then Heart Crusher would be more overpowered. And then when it came to usability, even if dunks are just that much easier, you're just one block away or one still away when it would go cold or just have your takeover just gone and stuff like that but yeah um i would still say at this point in time what's better especially after all the patches showtime has to be the better badge it just has to be because when it comes to going for flashy dunks like i was saying on the usability i would say it's just easy to go for a flashy dunk because you can just simply put on the right dunk packages and you're gonna get uh, animation every so single time that's gonna trigger a showtime dunk now when it comes to trying to go for flashies, a lot of times you can get put into contact dunks that aren't Showtime, so that could be hurtful. But at the end of the day, it's more easy to make yourself do a flashy than it is to make someone allow you to block them or make someone allow you to get a steal on them and stuff like that when it comes to passing lanes or pickpocket or just blocks. Because if it's a foul, it doesn't even count. If it's So yeah, um, so a lot, there's a lot of things that go into both of it, but at the end of the day, one badge has to win and i would say for this the first badge battles on nba 2k21 or the first badge battle in general on the channel has to be showtime 
And yeah, that's what I'm gonna end up going with as the winner for the first one, Showtime versus Heart Crusher. But yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, all you gotta do is smash break and destroy the like button. I will be doing a lot, a lot more before 2K21 ends, and I plan on doing a lot of these on 2K22. So if you guys wanna support this and make sure these come out as fast as possible, all you gotta do is smash break and destroy the like button. Subscribe new, we on that road to 100K, less than 4K away. All I need is everybody new to the channel, hit that sub button right now. It really, really would be a lot of help and appreciate it from me. Uh, subscribe if you're new, hit the like button, turn on post notifications to be the first to ever see my video, share this video to anybody you think this will help. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fist, man. And I'm out to be, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure to go over this. Now, we were at 4.2%. We're all the way up to 9.7%. But still, 90% of y'all that are watching my videos aren't even subscribed. I know y'all mess with the videos. We finna be going so crazy, so you might as well hit that sub button. It's that simple.